Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a comparison, kind of an unboxing. Really, it's a comparison between two items that are, I'm told, supposed to be pretty much identical. So what is the backstory here? If you are a diamond painter or a um, jewelry maker, especially, you will be probably familiar with a storage option called Elizabeth Ward. And very popular storage option. The trouble with Elizabeth Ward storage is quite often the products do tend to be rather pricey. And so I was told that on AliExpress, which is another one of these, um, like, China-based, multiple little stores, all in one website, if you will, that you can order from. So it's kind of like a Chinese Amazon, sort of. Uh, <laughs> um, a little confusing, but AliExpress, it's like a Wish app or, you know, there's several sort of like that. I went ahead and I checked it out and I have used actual Elizabeth Ward containers before that's my preferred kitting up storage if I'm using a larger, if I'm doing a larger painting. Smaller paintings, I have a different preferred method, but for larger paintings, I do prefer using Elizabeth Ward. And I now have one still sealed Elizabeth Ward package here and one Elizabeth Ward knockoff off from AliExpress right here. So I just wanted to do a comparison in case you are wondering, you know, is it worth trying to search out and find a really good deal on AliExpress or should you just stick with Amazon and order Elizabeth Ward or some other craft store supplier that carries Elizabeth Ward? First, we will just do a basic, let's look at box comparisons. Um, this, I... Kept, I also have one of these sleeves too, and these are additional Elizabeth Ward containers, and they are the branded containers. And I have these because in this Elizabeth Ward set, this is only small containers in here versus the one that I got from AliExpress is kind of like your standard multi-size container set. So I wanted to be able to compare more than just one type of container out of both sets. So um, I happen to have one of these still sealed. And so we'll look at that in comparison to the same size and the AliExpress. So the fronts of the boxes are very different. First, um, this box came to me a lot more beat up than the box from Amazon did. I mean, it, it still seems to be fine, but it's definitely, you know, it's, it's a little rough compared to my Elizabeth Ward one. And that's because this was shipped from somewhere within the States and it came in another box versus this was shipped from overseas and was just wrapped up in some plastic. So difference in shipping qualities. This box has three different languages on the front. You have English, Spanish, and French, and quite a bit of detail. For what it says here. So transparent storage solution, spend less time searching, more time crafting, save space, compact storage solution for small components, easy cleanup. All jewelry, jewelry crafting materials have a home in our self stacking trays and bins. Versus over here, it's only in English and uh, it just says advantage, saving something small, more type to choose, Bayads <laughs> could be in clue dead. Good helper storage space. Um, very rough translation. And the the bayads could be in clue dead is quite ridiculous because um I'm quite certain they mean that beads are not included, but clearly there was a translation problem. Otherwise, it just says portable convenient, practical variety. <laughs> so, you know, your information on the front is very, very different. Um, so that's one. Warnings are very similar. This says not a toy, not intended for children. Over here, it also says it's not a toy. Do not near high temperature, never eating it. Oh, okay. Um, 
I guess Elizabeth Ward assumes that we know that you can't eat this. And the AliExpress version is very concerned that we may think that this is food. I guess. I don't know. Uh, if we turn the boxes over and check out the back side, you will see that the AliExpress box is identical on both sides. There is no change at all. Versus Elizabeth Ward does give you a little bit more information and there are a few more pictures on here that just show you some other things that you could purchase from them. They're all Elizabeth Ward containers just um, in different, different varieties. Really, the difference is what comes on the inside of those containers. All right, so... Now, before I open up the boxes, I do want to talk a little bit about price. I have purchased Elizabeth Ward, I think, three different times on Amazon. And every single time, the price was a little bit different. Some of it does depend on what type of kit you get. You know, you can get this kit, which is full of lots of tiny boxes. You can get this kit, which is the variety. Um, And then there's like, there's... Well, like you saw in the back of this box, there's several different varieties. You can buy the box just empty with no little boxes on the inside. But the only ones that I purchased are this variety from Amazon and this variety from Amazon. And I have to price hunt. If you happen to go on any, any given day, the price could be anywhere from like $24, which is insanely inexpensive on Amazon, all the way up to, I think, right around the holidays, I checked it out, and it was at around like $40 for one storage container. So the price fluctuates a lot. I have only ever purchased when I could get them for, you know, $26-ish or less. Um, I'm not willing to spend any more than that. AliExpress, I am relatively new to. However, the price variation on AliExpress, because you're dealing with a bunch of different stores, there is a lot of competition involved, and I found that the price stays pretty much within the same few dollars. But here's the kicker. That price ranges the absolute cheapest that I could find today on AliExpress was $21.42. And the most expensive was probably around $27 because that had shipping added to it. Versus today to find the Elizabeth Ward version in this same format. So this same boxing style. Uh, today's price as of recording was $25.99. So actually there are several stores on AliExpress that are more expensive today to buy the same kit, but as an actual Elizabeth Ward, which giving the fact that on Amazon, quite often you can get prime delivery. It comes to you within just a couple of days versus AliExpress. This is going to take usually at least two weeks. I don't remember exactly how long my box took, but it was two to three weeks before I received it. There are some stores that guarantee a 12 day delivery. Um, again, that's going to end up being probably over two weeks. All right, so those are some of your major differences. Um, now let's go ahead and let's open these up. I'm going to actually start with, Liz with Elizabeth Ward because that's what I am familiar with and that's what I've used. So we're going to move this one aside. This box is, you know, loosely sealed here with a little tape. And when we pull it out, it comes with some protective stuff here. I don't know. This is like fabric styrofoam. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. And then the container itself, it is this really nice handy latching system. On the inside, you have enough labels for every single container in here. So these are just little labels. I've never actually used this label on any of my Elizabeth Ward containers. Uh, you could though, um, if you wanted. I just have not. I use um, little, little stickers instead and just peel them off whenever I have to. But here you could certainly write down like your DMC number code and then cross it off 
when you start a new kit and you could just fill up the sticker like that. So they call them removable bonus labels. They're supposedly removable, really? I don't know. I mean, if they're removable, it may be worth giving them a try. It's just with diamond painting, you are changing so frequently. You know, it feels like so rarely can you replace a DMC number again. Um, anyway, so yes, you have your bonus removable labels. Your lid is a somewhat flexible plastic top. Your individual containers are, you know, this is just the smallest size available. This is one of the most popular sizes, though, that you often end up using in diamond painting for large kits, which, like I said, that is what I use my Elizabeth Ward storage system for, is large kits. You have a plastic tab here that you have to gently pull out and then lift up, and then that is how you get into your container. But it does grip quite firmly. I will say I have had experience, especially with some of the larger containers where sometimes this end will pop up because as you can see that is possible to do um and that has happened to me and then I've lost drills inside of the container here which isn't a big deal because it's all carefully um you know it's 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 just falls down into the bed of the large tray so it's not that big of a deal it has nice little lips here for your fingers to grab onto and that's really about it. You know, that's a very general overview. We'll learn more after I open up our AliExpress equivalent. And I will take those out too in a minute. So now our AliExpress box. This one, there's not a sticker holding the box together. Instead, it's one of these cardboard tabs, which is part of the box. That's fine. When we take this one out... There is still a protective, you know, this is a bubble wrap coating. So it is still protected inside here. And then there is still a plastic here too yet. This is only over the lid. Can you see that this is just part of the lid? So it's stuck in here. So your handles here are a little bit different looking do a side by side here these have because of the ridges they are very easy to hold on to and pull off these are i mean they're a little bit harder to use and the way that this seals is there is a little extra piece here on the lid which we'll see better once we pull this plastic piece off So as you can see here, you have just this one plastic piece that kind of sticks up. And then your handles, which are not quite as convenient to use, actually, um, come over the top and hold it in place with Elizabeth Ward, the way that it works. You have a little lip all along the top here. If you can see that, it's just this little bitty lip. Your handles are much easier to grab onto and to secure in place. The other obvious difference is in color. Uh, the AliExpress, this is not a very pleasant looking color container, especially when offset with the white handles. If the plastics matched, that would be nice. <laughs> it would definitely look better. Again, that's minor. It has nothing to do with function. All right, so we're gonna pull these off. This lid feels similar. They both do have a little bit of a like hazed out edge on both of them. The Elizabeth Ward a little bit more so than the AliExpress, which you can't really tell on the film here. The size is the same. The feel, Elizabeth Ward is more flexible. The AliExpress is a more rigid plastic. 
uh, the AliExpress, and all in all is just, it's a clear, it's a clear plastic, if you can kind of see. It's a more see-through plastic. The way that these are constructed, once you get inside, uh, similar, the Elizabeth Ward container feels pretty similar. It could be the color that's kind of distracting me here. Making me think it's not quite as, I guess it is, it is a little bit more rigid. The edges are not nearly as rounded out. It's a little bit sharper than what it is in Elizabeth Ward. This is very, this is a soft edge. Um, I, I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm going to cut myself versus on the AliExpress. Yeah, I, I could cut myself on here. Uh, the little containers. Well, first, this little container has some moisture in it. I don't know if you can see that. There is some kind of moisture in there. So that's a little disturbing. And a lot of them are like that. I don't know if you can... Oh, there, there. Can you see that? There is a little bit of moisture buildup in there. Um... They don't smell funny to me, uh, but that that is, you know, I know I don't like seeing that. That's a little unsettling versus I don't have that with any of the Elizabeth Ward containers. Otherwise, this feels very similar. The lips are definitely harder cut. Elizabeth Ward, again, this is a softer and this is a lot rougher. Hold them up side by side for you here. Um, but otherwise, I feel like... Let's see if this... Okay, this is actually harder to... It does still pop out. I mean, they really feel pretty similar. I'd say the biggest difference is in these lips here. The AliExpress is larger and it's not as, it's not cut as soft. So it's a little bit harder on the fingers, but otherwise they feel the same. Let's go ahead and we're going to open this up. I know for most people, this is a very boring video, but if you're like me and like you really want to know <laughs> the differences, which is why I am doing this. Uh, that is, <laughs> this might be very informative for you. All right, now very interestingly, the mediums feel more similar. The plastic, however, is not nearly as clear in the AliExpress version. I don't know if you can see that. It's not, it looks kind of bubbled. That is not moisture in this case. It's like a bubbled plastic on the inside. In fact, the whole thing is like a weird bubble to it. Oh, can you see that? Does it help if I put my finger? Oh, here. Look at that. Versus this. Do you see? When you look through them a little bit, can you see? This plastic is like all weird bubbled. But again, I don't think that's going to affect function. It just isn't as um, appealing to look at. And you know, it may distort slightly what you're seeing inside, but you're going to have it labeled. So that does not matter. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I feel like, again, the inside containers are pretty comparable. Uh, inside of these trays, you do have individual sections. So there is a divider in between each section here. 
And you have the same over here, another divider. Then you also have like little tracks on the back of the containers, which the larger, you don't on these little itty bitty ones. Oop, wrong, wrong container. Which that right there should tell you something. The fact that I knew I could feel the difference. The AliExpress little containers do still have those ridges. It just helps keep them in line nicely. Versus, oh, the fake ones do, but they're not nearly as pronounced. Not nearly as pronounced. I'm looking at the base because they are stackable. And yeah, they both have a... Here, let me put the lid on so then we can look at this better. So both of them, you flip them over, very similar on the bottom, and this little lip makes them stackable. I think I can probably stack these on top of each other with no problem. Actually, okay, yes, yes, so that works, and then let's try it the other way. Hmm. All right, you cannot, <laughs> this is very interesting, you cannot stack an AliExpress on top of, no, you cannot stack an Elizabeth Ward on top of an AliExpress not correctly it is the handles are too fat to accommodate the base of your aliexpress tray versus you can do aliexpress on top of elizabeth ward do you see can you see that this is now a tight interlock versus the other way and you can feel it too it is sitting right inside of this base on the elizabeth ward container and I can't do that this way. The handles are, are too large. So do you see there's a gap? I cannot fit. I cannot fit this ridge inside of the top of the AliExpress. But you can do it this way. All right. So in the end, what are my thoughts? First, I did get this set for even cheaper than what was found on AliExpress today. The cheapest price I could find on AliExpress today was $21.42. When I bought it, um, I had like a coupon code because it was my very first purchase on AliExpress. So I saved an extra $3. And my total price was $17.54. So it must have been around a dollar cheaper than the $21.42 plus than $3 off from that. So this was $17.54. I can't tell you exactly how much I spent on this one, but the $25.99 is probably actually high. I think I got this one for closer to $24. So maybe a $7 difference. And uh, AliExpress takes longer to get to me. The plastic is not as um, finely created made as the aliexpress um a little bit rough around the fingers too you know it's because it is it's not as finely made it uh, without having another aliexpress container here i don't know if you can stack the aliexpress containers together but you cannot interchange them without only being able to put an aliexpress on top of an elizabeth ward so Honestly, I'm going to say that at the end of the day, I would just spend a few dollars more and go ahead and get the real deal. All right. Like I said, I know for a lot of you, this is a very boring video. But for those of you who are like me and a little bit neurotic and you want to have that side by side comparison and know, you know, where's my money going? I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video. Uh, that is really going to do it for now. Thank you so much for joining me. 
like I always say, please just practice kindness. You never know what someone is going through. You don't know what kind of day they've had or week. So just be kind. And I hope that in return, you are shown that same level of kindness. And I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful day. I will see you again real soon.